And a Baltimore family suing the Sesame Place theme park in Pennsylvania says this video shows costumed characters discriminating against black children. Claims that have sparked a multi million dollar lawsuit and generated a mountain of negative publicity for the park. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at federal court. He has new reaction from Reverend Jesse Jackson, who just met with Sesame Place management. Mike. And Vic Denise, Reverend Jackson just finished speaking. He says these children will bear an awful burden for what happened to them, and he's determined to make sure no other child suffers discrimination. The operators of Sesame Place are trying to make amends, taking new action to retrain employees after the parents who took these videos say their children experienced racial discrimination at the theme park located outside Philadelphia. Reverend Jesse Jackson personally met Thursday with the CEO of SeaWorld, which runs Sesame Place. We're not cooperating, and let's say do the right thing, the right way, quickly. In one video, a character greets a white child but ignores Kennedy Burns, a black five year old from Baltimore. Her hand outstretched, she looks back at her dad in disappointment. Moments later, another character high fives white children but has no interaction with Kennedy. Burns' family has filed this $25 million class action lawsuit in federal court. Just looking at her face, that is, it makes me want to cry every time I see it. In a separate case, not part of that lawsuit, a character interacts with a white family but waves off two black children, Jody Brown's young daughter and niece. For little children, they should not have to experience such hurt and embarrassment from a character who's supposed to bring joy. Sesame Place first said the characters could not see the children through their costumes, then apologized, and this week announced new anti-bias training for all staff that will be completed by the end of September. The actions we are taking will help us deliver on our promise to provide an equitable and inclusive experience for all our guests every day, the company wrote. We all look forward to work united to deal with this very central issue of racism, which has promulgated um, and perpetuated up around our country for generations. Now, we understand the Baltimore family was not part of the meeting today, but their lawsuit is still active. Reporting live at Federal Court, Mike Helgren, WJZ.